Hey friends, what's up, Red? Net Gamer. Hey friends, what's up, Red? Net Gamer here. Welcome back to a little something different. Uh, we are gonna be doing something related to farm sim, but not completely. Um. Wait, it is. It is farm sim. Never mind. Anyway, I've been thinking about making this video for a while, but I've recently got, had a request to make a video like this. And that just kind of inspired me and gave me the kick in the butt to actually make it. So, anyway, the request was if I could show them, show or make a video, how on how to edit the base map. More specifically, the request was they want to make the uh, dairy cattle area a little bit bigger. So that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. I'm going to take it, take it through how you go go about the whole editing the base map so step one you first have to go to mod hoster I'll put a link in the description and you're going to download this file this is just the 100% base map um, you can see from modders to mod so it's all all good to go nothing has been done to it other than been put into moddable form because you cannot go into the Giants Farming Simulator 17 folder and edit the base map there or else your game would not work properly. So what you first want to do is obviously go ahead and download this which I'll do. Then you just go Okay now that you have your uh, basic Gold Crest Valley map downloaded. You want to go ahead and open it up. Just hit extract all. I always extract it to the desk desktop so it's right there where I already am. No need to go searching through files to get it. Okay so once that's done it will open up this folder. If it doesn't it will be just right here. Basic Gold Crest Valley map open that up go under maps and this is where you need giants editor you're going to need the latest version uh, no matter what you will always need the latest version or else it won't work you're going to go ahead and open it up again latest version 7.0.5 at the moment it'll come up with this don't click anything don't do anything just let it let it do its thing Sometimes it will say Giants Editor not responding up here. Still don't do anything. Don't worry, it did not crash. It's just opening up. It, it takes a lot. So you see it's ready now. Change the name up here to that. What you want to do is just wait till you get this screen right here. Then you can minimize this or exit out of it, whichever you prefer. Then we are, now that we are in here. The request, like I said, was to edit the dairy farm, make it bigger. There's only one real easy way to do this. What you want to do, go ahead and click on this far yellow thing right here. And what this is, is field 27, by trigger, and the dimensions. You want to open up, you want to click the little plus next to field dimensions and you're going to want to find this corner and this corner I already did this so luckily, luckily for you it'll be easy to find because I'll show you right now go under corner 3 3 2 and simply let me get a better view for y'all simply just move it move it there pretty easy then you want to get the corner 3 underscore 3 with the second one under corner 3 and again just move it ideally you want to go ahead and try and line them up as best as you can so if we click on three underscore two we can actually move it up more right about there should be good 
they're pretty in line right there. So then, now that you've done that, you can come up here. And I recommend doing this because you did just modify the field. So you want to click a square brush type. Well, what do you want to do? I'm not explaining myself real well, am I? Click the foliage or terrain foliage paint mode. Grab a square brush. We're going to be using the subtract uh, function, which is right mouse button. Come down here to foliage layer painting. Select terrain detail and right click and then right click again. You can overlap where you just uh, moved the whatchamacallit, the corner because the game will automatically just fix fix it. The reason you have to move the corner is, is because if I were to go ahead and remove this right in there that will not be there when we go to load up the map. So I'm estimating we are right about here, but like I said, it's okay to go ahead and go ahead and overlap where you moved the new corners. So go ahead and overlap it, just to be safe. Paint all this. You see that it's not exactly updating right away. Don't worry, it will, and it, you are painting it. If that bugs you, you can simply just zoom into zoom into it uh, remain in the foliage terrain foliage paint mode so we're still working under that but now you want to go to your foliage layer right down here hit the grass and right click again just along the edges right here you can even get back in there if you want all this is doing is removing this grass along the sides. I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little better. So here we have grass. Click, to, click this again so we can just do what we were doing. Right click and it's gone. Pretty simple. You don't have to do that but it does make things look better. Alright so now that you've done that I recommend go ahead and hover or get your camera right above here click on these two arrows right here the terrain sculpt mode and you can we'll go ahead and continue using the square brush only now we are going to press control R while ho hovering over here and that sets a level for what we want to level all this out into so we want middle mouse button to be replace then we simply press middle mouse button and it will flatten out the area to the exact height that this is. You don't have to flatten out the entire area, just the area that you will be expanding the dairy farm into. Make sure it's nice and level. I, I always recommend overlapping yourself just to be self, just to, just to be self, just to be safe. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to go ahead into Terrain Detail Texture Paint Mode. I recommend using a round brush for this. You want one of your mouse buttons to be Add. We're going to go to Texture Layer right here. And we're going to pick Concrete. Or you can use Gravel if you would like. I'm just using Concrete because that's what they have used here. Let me get a better camera for you all. So, so you can see right along here there's a little hill that is just where we've uh, made all this inside area level so don't worry about that I will show you how to make that pretty in a second but for now let's focus at the ta task at hand go back to terrain detail texture paint mode make sure you have your concrete selected and simply Whatever mouse button you have assigned to add, my in my case we have left mouse button. Click that and simply paint over it. 
the, and there you have expanded your area. If you want to go further and add some buildings or move some buildings around, I will show you how to do so right now. So as you can see, I have the bunker silo selected. Selected. It is this one right here. You just simply click on the area and it will be cow silo. Click on it as a whole so you move everything at once. And move. Simple. Now you'll notice that these markers stayed behind. Simply click on those. It will it will do this. It'll show you what you just selected. Move this and it will be ground marker cow bunker. You want to click the one with all the shapes next to it and it'll highlight all four of them. Then you can just move that. Oops messed up then you want to just move that on into the silo like so and there you have it you moved the silo and I noticed that there's still some green right here so let's go ahead back into terrain detail texture paint mode and just cover that up with some concrete so now you have a nice wide space in front of there your cow silos over there again if you still want to add some buildings around to make it look look more detailed you want to click on this one this is the easiest way to do it press control D then move the blue arrow forward and now you have two of them you can move it around this little green line going right the way around it will rotate it if you click and hold and you can place it wherever you may like Go ahead and place it right there at a little, little bit of an angle nice so now that that's done you are basically done I will show you I will now show you how to make this back area look a little more pretty all you want to do is click terrain sculpture mode I'm going to use middle mouse button again but not at, to replace we are going to use it to smooth and decrease our radius pretty tiny uh, let's go ahead and get closer so we can see what we are doing exactly so it's pretty rough right now ideally you want it nice and smooth which is exactly what we are doing now just hit middle mouse button and it will smooth it out pretty nicely Again, I'm, I'm expecting up to right about here to be gone because of where we moved our corners. You can even move the corners after you do all this so you know exactly where you want the corners to be. But yeah, that's basically it. And now, if we zoom out, you have a nice big cow, cow area. If you wanted to add a different building here, easiest way to do so is go to it, like say, I don't know, for example sake, we're just going to be using this one right here, this little tool shed. We want to make sure tool shed is selected right here, control D, and then you can just move it back, or control B left click it will automatically adjust to the height then once it's off screen let go move your camera over there it's already selected so control B and left click and place it wherever you may want need to move your camera again no problem press alt and then move your camera control B left click again and you can even just place it where really wherever you want you can place it on top of here if you really wanted to but I'm just going to place it right there in the back there perfectly level and don't have to do anything to it 
And I will show you that it's perfectly level if we get down here. Okay, not perfectly level because of the bank there. You can simply do this. On the back side, it'll be a little into the ground. What you want to do is make sure the blue line, blue line is just under the surface is what I like to do. Or just on it, just like that. Perfect. That ensures you that it's level. You don't see it over here because this part is slightly higher because of what we just did with the smoothing. But other than that, it's pretty good. So now that you've done all your work you wanted to, go ahead, go ahead and save i3d file. Again, it may say that it's not responding up here. That's fine. Just let it do its thing. Don't touch anything. And you see right down here it says exporting. Just let that go until it says ready. While this does what does its thing, I will take the time to mention you do have to absolutely have to start a new save game if that wasn't al already obvious by us having to download a separate map so now that it says ready where's my mouse right down there we can go ahead and close so now we can even close out of maps now we have these two folders how do we zip this file you made it ask well what I like to do is go over here click this zip file copy the name click it again and just delete it then right click on the desktop new win rar zip archive backspace control V now you have a completely empty folder just like that and it's all good so now you want to go ahead and go into here highlight all of this and just copy into your new zip file it'll take a while so I'll catch you guys back and then I'll actually I'll catch you guys back in the game when we go to check it out so see, see you guys then actually before we get into the game it goes without saying but just to make sure go into your games 17 mods and just put this into here I already have it in there because I was experimenting earlier so I need to copy and replace then it's in so now we are going to go into the game and see and make sure our changes took effect so see you guys then alright we are now in the game go to go under your career this is going to use the save game 4 for me normal you want to go over to sample mod map 1 this is the exact same as the vanilla map, just with your edit. Continue. Character selection, I just keep mine the same. Continue. Deselect all for loading time wise. Let us do its thing. It'll load up pretty fast since I don't have any mods start as you can see 100% exactly as it is when you start the game normally get in our truck and we are going to take our a ride on down into the uh, cow area Like I said, some of the things we did may not be there due to the where we move the corners. I prefer doing stuff uh, without knowing where the corner is, and but for sure at the same time overlapping where I move the corner. You can't visibly see it, see where you move the corner. However, you, do, you will always have, at least with me, I will always have a general idea of where I moved it. So I always work beyond that point. To be safe, you guys can work beyond, just right up to the edge of that little part in the field. And you guys should be fine. Coming up here, you will see that there's plenty more grass than there is normally. So that's a good sign. And as you can see, our changes have took an effect. Okay, maybe, okay, so, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Our corners were not exact, and 
exactly and what happened is exactly what I predicted is the game will basically reclaim what it what is the field if the corners are not set correctly so yeah you can actually you can actually just I don't know there may be what better ways of doing it to make sure it's aligned this works for me at the moment so it is what it is but as you can see it is completely exactly like it, we had it in the Giants editor with the exception of the this but now you have a nice wide open space to tend to your cows and store your equipment pretty nice if I do say so myself so hopefully this helps you all I know I'm not the best you can see where we uh, level with the ground out too I know I'm not the best at explaining things or making tutorials per se, but I do hope this helped y'all in your map editing skills or one viewer in particular. I hope this helped you expand your dairy area. And uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed. And until next time, I'm the Dan Cameron. See y'all in the next video. Bye bye.